Professor Furs here, going to take you through the calculations of the jet engine. Oh, I can't keep that up the whole video, can I? Okie doke. Now then, all this stuff on the wall looks like a complete load of rubbish. If I saw that on the internet, I'd think, Phew. That's a bit odd, isn't it? It's at this point I think I should let you know that I got an E in my maths. First thing, the flame tube. This is the bit in the middle. There we are, goes in the middle. The diameter of that is twice the diameter of the intake on the turbo. The length of it is six times the diameter of the length of the turbo. The only other thing is the holes, but I'll get to that in a minute. The housing, which of course is going to be a bit bigger than it's going to go into. Now they say you want about a 15 mil gap around the outside, so basically just add 30 mil to the diameter of that, and then you've got the diameter of that. For example, if that is 50 millimeters across, then the diameter of that is going to be 100 mil plus 15 mil top and bottom, which is 30 mil, and the diameter of that one will be 130, 13 centimetres. This little bit at the end here, don't worry about that, just make that as short as possible. The intake that goes into it on the, this swoopy bit just basically wants to be the, as near as possible to the outlet of the uh, cold side of the turbo. And then like in the video, it wants to be put offset, slightly down the bottom, and roughly come in about quarter of the way down the tube. Now the next bit is about as tricky as it gets. You need to work out how big these holes need to be. Now the first set of holes is 30% the area of the intake, the second set is 20 and the third set is 50. Now first you need to work out the area. Now the area of a circle is pi r squared, so we've got our uh, five centimeter diameter thingy with jiggy, where's my calculator? Probably have that handy. So then, 2.5 will be our radius if our diameter is 5. So radius is half the diameter, I'm sure you already know this. If you don't know that, you're going to struggle making the rest of it. So, pi, little thingy, times 2.5, and then there's a squared button, which is like a times 2, because, yeah, press that, it's one mine, equals 19.63 centimetres. So let's work out the first set of holes, it needs to be 30% of the area. The area is 19.63, divide it by 100 times 30 and it gives you 5.89. So all them holes all round there need to add up to 5.89 centimetres in area. So how do we know how big each hole needs to be? We'll divide it by a number of holes, so 5.89 divided by 26 or whatever holes I did equals 0.22, so each hole must have an area of 0.22 centimetres. So we're looking for 0.22, uh, the same way we worked out the area of the turbo, we want to do that on our small holes. So as you're looking at it, I do 26 holes, I thought that looked a right amount. I roughly thought around about 4 or 5 mil would do. So, pi r squared on a 5 mil drill bit, actually gives you 0.19, so it's not quite big enough. Five and a half was 0.23. Um, there is probably a backwards way of doing it, but I don't know how to do it. But I need a mass, remember. Um, and then basically just do that, and then do it on the 20% and the 50% ones. They want to get bigger as they go down the flame tube. The exact amount of holes around there, I don't know if there's a, a rule of thumb or anything, but I've done 26, five, and five. So if you follow that, it works. I know it works. So, and there we go. That's the mass. So now we just need to put it in something and start it up. Yeah. <laughs>